Finals. It's Grand Finals. We got the White Claws out. Actually, I need this. I'm trying to lose lose the edge. Would you like one, sir? Oh, oh, oh what's that? No. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was ripping you a swing. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> what do you got? What? Oh, no. I don't know if I want this. <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> Stream producer almost handed me some Jack Daniels. I'm not. I'm not about that life right now. So it looks like we're getting set up. Kumar with the uh, the White Claw plug. White Claw, if you're listening, we're open to sponsorships, baby. Okay. Not that you guys need it. Apparently, there's a shortage. You're a savage for that Jack Daniels, sir. I appreciate it though. And that's the beauty of the FGC. That's the beauty of it. Because we're drinking here. while we're playing. We're drinking. I don't got to be off my here. I'm just talking shit on the cast. Norgaz, people are laying down in the back. You clearly have not been to an FGC tournament. You're going to catch people sleeping out here. <laughs> All right, so in true Gizmo fashion, he's going to go with the Black Prior. Yo, Kumar, the, 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 I wasn't ready for the grapefruit. Is it too spicy for you? What's it, good it's with spicy. It? It's spicy. In a good way or a bad way? I don't know. I'm, not, I'm undecided. We'll see how this. We'll see how this match plays out. All right. So, get into grand finals play. Ogre sticking with Raider. Gizmo with the Black Prior. Gizmo had a exponential uh, break <laughs> getting into very, grand very, finals very, very quickly. Break. So he's refreshed. He's I mean, he definitely took, he had to take a nap or something. On top of that, he was scouting the competition. I'm sure he didn't think much of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, who's toxic now? It's not just me. Yo, it's the claws, bro. It's the claws. It's the claws, no laws. They get it to me. No laws. But Ogre, trying to see what he could do Ogre against the Ogre actually has fire. a life lead even after the GB punish comes yeah. off. You're not even able to punish the bash with that stunning tap. It's fucking crazy, man. Gizmo's just standing tall here. Ogre not doing so bad here, though. And nearly off here. I think he's just trying to set the pace right now. Oh, oh it gets caught with the with the guard break. It looks like Ogre's just a little bit too jumpy in neutral. I, you know why? Because he realized that he has to play against the Bash Lights. That's true. So I think he was just trying to get on, uh, an early read on it, he but clearly he's, he's trying to be, he's trying to be slippery. But that's just allowing so many free GBs for no reason, for no reason. But this is Grand Finals, best three out of five. Keep this game moving. Oh, all right. Oh, there it is. That should be a wall punish. There we go. Light into what? Okay. Sign tap. I, I mean, it wouldn't have been my choice. Again, see, it, he, he try, he's trying to read the bash. He just about springs it in in his, chain, his offensive chain. I think that's where we're probably going to see it. See, now, that time he got caught in the heavy startup. That's a free GB. This one is getting a lot of GBs just for no All reason. right, all right. There Ogre, we go. Okay. showing signs of life. Gets into the gets into the stunning tap. Schmix. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Now, remember, Kumar. Yes. Ogre has to reset the bracket. He does have to reset so the bracket. If he, if he gets himself in a hole now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Going to be even deeper to climb out. You said reset the bracket? I don't think Gizmo would have liked that. And I know our boy with the Jack Daniels does not want this bracket reset. I... I, I <laughs> 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 no, no. Well, we're going to make him stuck here watching For Honor Gaming. Bad punishment. Oh, but those of them in the corner. Well, that's just disrespectful. I wonder why no he punish. did that. I think they're laughing about it right now, <laughs> if I hear correctly. Well, there's no laughing matter because Ogre's about to lose. <laughs> I think he's accepted his fate. <laughs> Gets another guard break to carry into the wall splat carry. The three light chain, the top light is so much slower. Gizmo's not going to get hit with shit like that. It's looking like it's looking like it's going to be a, a literally a free, free, uh, free win for Gizmo. I mean, he came all this way. Gizmo the Scrimmer, all the way from Canada, way up there, up, up, down, down. <laughs> free plug for Xavier Woods. <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> I'm not at work. Shout right out to now. Xavier. You'll get him to play for honor. He did play for honor. He has a video on for honor. How did it go? I mean, it was like when the game first came out, so oh, he hasn't man. played it since. Last change, brother. So this is uh, optimal, optimal out of stamina punish. punish. Yeah, that's optimal. 
I mean, it's Gizmo. It's always going to be optimal. You see, the, you see the glasses on that kid? Optimal. Yeah. <laughs> optimal eyesight, dude. Actually, no. He wouldn't need glasses if he right. was optimal. But he's got the young boy reflexes. Uh, I'm telling you, kids should be playing Fortnite or something. I'm pretty sure I saw Gizmo do the do the flaw stance before her. He looks like he would. If he I'm he being looks real. like he would do the flaw <laughs> stance. He looks IRL, like he right? would. Yo, chat. Would 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 you think Gizmo does the flaw stance IRL? No trolling. <laughs> All right. So he, he, yo, he did. Yo, Gizmo definitely. I gotta, does leave, the I gotta leave. I gotta leave. I gotta leave. I gotta leave. Yo, Gizmo's definitely. Gizmo definitely does the fucking flaw, dude. All right, let's do it. Yo, White Claw, if you're looking, <laughs> if you're watching. Yo, we got the plugs. <laughs> Sponsor yeah. Gen Games. Free plugs. Free plugs. Yeah. They can really Sponsor use Gen some, games. some sponsorships. These guys are fucking professionals. I've never, I've never, I've never worked with somebody this official for a For Honor tournament. It's, and it's his drink of choice. And the chat, entire chat, the drink gets chat, presented let me, let me Let me say that for you. <laughs> yeah, let's go. That's an optimal answer. <laughs> oh, Ogre switching to the Conqueror. So now we're about to now we're really about to get into the shield bashes. We're really about to get into the shield bashes. Whoops. That doesn't matter. So uh, chat, if you're if you're enjoying all the orange shield bashes, you better buckle the fuck up, boys, because we got a lot more for you. Oh yeah. Double the shield bash, double the pleasure. Oh yeah. This is duels. Not for Honor's best game mode, but people are out here playing the win. They're trying to play for money. They're going to be bashing as much as they can get away with. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Battle for the East. This is an FGC tournament, but for Honor was gracious enough to bless its presence here. That's why we're doing duels. And Ogre with the Conqueror just letting his, letting his lights fly, his light chains fly. And of course, in the future, we'll be looking to do some 4v4, so you can really see how for Honor shines out. Oh, gets the superior block, but nothing of it. Nope. Another Ooh, one. Full block, Let's though. Let's go. Okay. What the execution? Okay, Ogre. They're trying to extend our play Honestly, time. Honestly, did not even know he had the pocket conk. The pocket conk. I mean, who doesn't have a pocket conk? I don't. I, I certainly don't. I know you don't play. I, that I actually character. like to enjoy the game I'm playing. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Not enjoy it. You're I'm a man of kidding, taste. I get it. I'm just kidding. I know. I know. Conk mains getting get to shake it out here. Let's actually go to the Conk's perspective here. Now, so 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 Gizmo's actually going to have to adjust a little bit here. It hasn't hasn't faced the Conk all tournament, obviously. And now the Conk has the tools to actually punish. I mean, this let's be real. Shield bashes. The most prominent one. And there's one. a light parry. Doesn't get the top heavy though. The top oh, he would have been optimal for a little bit more damage. I'm expecting he, Ogre to sprinkle in some bashes as well, because he has a bash to, actually, of he, his own. Now, oh, there it is, speaking of the devil. Uh, I, I think I completely lost the plot on that. Maybe he... He's out of stamina right now, he though. He like a light attack there or something. Ooh, oh, he's out of he stamina. Dodged. He didn't push him to Not get the, the knock. Punish there. Nope. I think... Uh, so Gizmo's trying to reset here, get some spacing. Oh, a little overzealous. That's very uncharacteristic of Gizmo, very missing an optimal punish. <laughs> Oh, wow, I think they have the house mic somewhere else and it's bleeding into my earphones. I think Sam Joe's happening right now. Oh, word? Oh, oh Bull works the best and gets the W off that. Damn, that's, that's, that's a way to close out a match. Well played there from Gizmo. And like I was saying, Conqueror actually has the tools to punish a missed shield bash. The other characters that Gizmo has come across, not really, it didn't really have that option. So Conqueror has the omnidirectional dodge. Except for the back dodge, obviously. So that, sh that can actually punish missed shield bashes from the black power. Ooh. The undodgeable finisher catches the Conqueror trying to side dodge bash. The, the Conqueror should really only be doing that to avoid, like I said, the shield bashes. That could actually be a way to punish. And right now, it's just too easy. The si he's trying to side dodge shield bash things he really has no business doing. He needs to be reserving that. Side dodge, bash for the Black Pride's bash is actually punish him. At the same instance, I feel like Gizmo, being on top of his game, just has more of the knowledge that Ogre is missing because Ogre, like we said, a little behind on the times. And Gizmo, and, and Gizmo does categorize himself as a dual specialist. 
I don't blame him. That's why he's here to win some easy money. And and I'm sure some people in the chat think that you can just shield bash your way to win any tournament. But if that was the case, then anybody could win with Black Pride. So Gizmo's execution has been on point thus far. It's not. It's not pretty. Bash-based offense is not pretty. But strong openers are ideal in this game mode. Ooh, looks like Gizmo tried to go for the full block. Is that, it, I can't tell if that conk is actually doing a heavy, a side heavy or not. It, should, it needs to be a top heavy on light parry and wall throws. And Ogre doesn't look like he has much left in the tank. I mean, I think the chat was expecting it. I know we were expecting it. Gizmo looking to clean up and get his money. Cause his he's, money. Trying to, he's trying to, He's walking away with you. Fun US fact, bucks. he brought his parents along. His parents drove him to this oh, event. Blow up spot. I am gonna blow up his spot. He's trying to show his parents a good time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Gizmo's feeling himself. Let's go, Gizmo. Let's go, Gizmo. And now Gizmo Gizmo told me a certain something. What did he say? To you. He said that if he is up in grand finals, he's gonna whip out highly. Why? I have no oh, idea. Oh, he brought out something else. Oh, my God. Jormungandr. Even worse. What? What is this? I don't know. I mean, Can we go home? <laughs> we're, we're, try, we're, trying to hit, we're trying to hit the club tonight, bro. We're, try, we're trying to wrap this up. Bro, how, tell me how For Honor had a six-man bracket and it's still the longest-running bracket. Everyone went home. It, it, Everyone it, went that, home. That's how it goes. It's not a For Honor tournament if it doesn't take unnecessarily long. Oh, okay, good. We're trying to cast some Samso games. We're trying to cast some Samso games. Right now, we're going to watch this Jormungandr. Oh, nice. All right. Get some real fight F FGC gaming in. That's fucked up. Nice light. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's oh fucked up. I don't, he, didn't, he didn't do the optimal punish there on that parry, but he ended up getting the fucking uh, unblockable finisher into slam. So now, is, is this Jormungandr pick just a flex from Gizmo, being that he's so comfortable in his lead, his W lead? I mean... At the highest level, Jormungandr is not optimal, but this obviously, this tournament here is This not is for the, the people! It's for, it's for the people. Jormungandr is an obnoxious character to deal with, though. So, I mean, even though it's not, it's not high tier necessarily, it, it really is. This is for the obnoxious. obnoxious. Chat is what Gizmo said. He's like, I'm going to be obnoxious. The chat's in here. Is chat being obnoxious? Nah, uh, chat, chat's being chat. Know, chat's looking pretty cute out there, I think. I mean, it's chat. We got Verbalacity out there. We got Mr. Gaz. A lot of gamers out Gaz here. Gaz is all about the Yorm, baby. Yo, Gaz, this is for you, brother. Who else we got? We got currently turn out there. I know currently turns looking extra cute tonight on the Saturday. We got some kids saying commentators should know the game. I know the game more than you. I'm assure you of that, brother. <laughs> For honor console, light boogie. I can assure you, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, so these, uh, that's gonna. Oh, is he gonna try and do the setup? Oh, oh he, he tried to flex. Back. He tried to flex. Dude, if he got that off in the tournament, that would have been actually pretty true. Oh, man. Another one. The bashes are just like. <laughs> it's just so obnoxious. Dude, look. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> the fucking. The Cox is taking a nap. He's just taking start. a nap. Look what you start. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go from the Yormagana perspective here. This should be this should be a tournament. He just one round away. Gizmo is walking away with it. Oh, gets the light parry. See that, that that's what I was talking about with the parry punish. He, he's getting the light parry, not heavy. In. He's doing the bash instead. So unsurprisingly, this kid Turbo doesn't know what he's talking about. But this is Gizmo just trying to flex. Oh, this movement. He's trying Command to grab out he's of try, the bash. He's trying to get him out of stamina to do shit like this. And there it is. The big time. The big time out of stamina punish. I can't believe he pulled it off. The back roll for the, for the swag. Jormungandr does got a swaggy back roll. I'm not going to lie. That's the one thing the character is OP at. Best back dodge animation. And a zone attack of all things. To win the tournament, I can't believe what I saw. Kumar, you is, have it. It, we, we've been slowly descending into madness. 
We gotta, I mean, we, did we expect any different? I didn't. Tournament. I didn't expect anything different, to be honest. But nonetheless, it was a good time. Gizmo did what he should have. The best player here, and he Clearly. showed it. He got the he got the win from Canada, no less. From Canada, he came a long way. Eight hour drive. He's about to pay his parents' hotel room. They're about to go, they're about to go gambling with his money. The, the, the whole the whole trip's on him. I'm about to go sneak uh, sneak a hundred out of his his prize pool winnings yeah. and go gamble with it. That's it. But we're, hey, we're, we're, we'll triple it. It's I'm an about investment. It. It's an investment. It is an investment. So <laughs> with that, the front of bracket is over. Gizmo is our champion. Ubisoft provided the seven fifty seven hundred fifty dollars. So we appreciate them, and of course we appreciate the people who came out to compete. It's, it's obviously quite a commitment to come out to a land. And uh, we hope to see more Front Lands in the future, and we hope to see them supported with some participants. And we'll, we'll keep trying to push it. That's all we can do. But if, if there's a tournament, regardless if it's online or LAN, support your scene. Absolutely. Support your scene, support your TOs, and stay optimal out there. Stay optimal. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we're signing off from Atlantic City. We're going to go hit the club. We're going to go pay Gizmo his prize money. And we'll see you next time. All right. Peace out.